my channel. Um, today I'll be doing standard VGA, not gold corner or ICs, just standard VGA. Um, we're doing it until our battery runs out. I got 50%, so it's probably about 45 minutes worth of uh, recording. We try to fill as much as we can as we put up. So it'll just be a chisel and a hammer. And we're just um, tap them off. As you see, they come off nice and easy. Um, BJ should be worth a little bit more than uh, ICs on average. Not as much as gold corner BGAs, obviously. Nowhere near. But they're normally worth about double what um, ICs are worth by weight. Good thing is you don't really find little ones like you find little ICs. So hopefully they should add up nicely as well. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe because once I like I keep saying in all my videos, once I reach a thousand subscribers I'm um, doing a 24 hour scrapping video live. I'll attempt to do it live, if it doesn't go too well, I'll obviously do it in standard video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Helps out a lot. Sometimes the BJ don't want to come off. Let me use this chisel, it's a bit sharper. There you go. The reason I put my finger above it is in case they break up. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. The BGA, if you don't know, is just the chips with sold on the bottom. Gold corner BGA is the same, but if you don't know what they are, check out my other videos and you'll see. And then there's also um, flip chips, which are like BGA, but they're worthless. And again, I've made videos on flip chips in the past. This board's still got ICs on, so I'll be doing that on a scrap marathon soon. An IC scrap marathon. Good thing about doing just BJs. You've always got your chisel in your hand ready, nice and quick, just go through them. You also don't have to sort pots out, it just goes in one quick pot. Rather than moving one component, then moving to the next pot to put stuff in there. You can save solder, I personally aren't, aren't going to do that, just because this type of BGA don't really want to release much solder, as you can see. You couldn't even see any solder come off at that time. Whereas flip chips and gold corner BGA, they're much larger and because they're harder to come off, you scratch a lot more solder off, off the boards. So um, then it's worth saving. My last video is about ceramic oscillators. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. Because they're... Worth a lot of money. Didn't do as many as I thought I would off them. Yeah. Another board the same. These batteries over here, you should remove before you start saving. These boards are stored outside, so I don't really worry too much. Those batteries you should take off and just throw straight away. Show them throw in the bin, they can air. Explode. I'll be doing an MLCC scrap marathon soon once all the boards are empty. And there's just MLCCs left. If you don't know what they are, they're these little things. You have good money by weight, and I'll show you the way I do them. I get through them quite fast. BJs are quite relaxing. Doing ICs, you're constantly moving from 
pliers to chisel and hammer and it's quite annoying. Whereas BGA you can just kind of keep going. Actually, better to use little um, a little chisel for this, just because they can fit in without knocking anything else off. But my little chisel is not very sharp at the moment. I'll sharpen it soon. In fact, I'll do a video sharpening it. Pretty straightforward, but I'm sure there's people that don't know. That one actually just flew straight in the pot. Skills. On average, obviously, they can contain um, copper instead of gold inside these, which if they do, they're worthless. So it's impossible to put a price on them. But, based on averages, IC chips are normally worth about one gram of gold per kilo. Gold corner BGAs can be about, it's normally about 10 grams of gold per kilo, and these BGAs are only anywhere between one and three grams, really, per kilo. Just like I see, they're um, all different. Some will yield different to others. For example, this BGA will probably yield completely different to this BGA. It's uh, hard to tell, but. They're all different. And then obviously if they contain copper and not gold, then they're going to yield nothing. So you can't really guess or hope for gold, you just get it if you get it. If you send your stuff to a refiner and get no gold, don't be disappointed. Just Hope for the worst, and if you get gold, then you get gold. But on average, you should. Older stuff, you got pretty much certain of gold. But again, it's not 100%. The newer stuff, you've got a much lower chance of getting gold than you would on older stuff. Although they do like breaking up, which is annoying. You don't want to lose the stuff, lose the top. The top's where the gold is, and then you have like a little fibre bottom. A bit like gold corner BGA, except these two are stuck together too well for you to be able to take apart. They'll just be, um, probably be wet ashed. Well, gold corner BGAs can also be wet ashed, but yeah. I like to keep my gold corner BGA separate from this type of BGA, and I also keep the, all, the, all this separate from my ICs. Because my ICs just get burnt into a powder and then sluiced. Any LEDs or anything that gets processed the same like that can go together. So many crystal oscillators can find anyone that crystal oscillator video. And now every single board I'm picking that stuff out. Always a slap one. It's pretty much all the same board, <laughs> all the same type. These little ones come off nice and easy, quite nice to do. The larger one kind of doesn't want to move, and when it does move, it flies away.
larger board here. Two VJ here. That's it. I'm going to remove this, I mentioned on a few videos. Similar to Gold Corner BGA underneath, I'll show you. They can be flip chips and sometimes they're not. I don't believe this one is, we'll see. Oh, nice and easy. The way you can tell is it always has this um, black epoxy and that means it is, um, has got, does contain gold. That's all you do. Metal cap. Peel up. And it's undone and just kind of drag it away these yield really good if they have a silicon die on the top which is like a little glass piece on the top then it's a flip chip and they won't contain this black epoxy on the bottom this one will not have that because it has the black epoxy so this heatsink is actually just tin plated copper so I can go on your template cup and then that's what it looks like underneath. I'll drop it. And then you've got your epoxy there. Which you can just literally, I ain't got my cutters here, so I'm just going to cut it with my side cutters. Cut the outside off. This part's useless for you. There's no gold there. And then there, you got your epoxy and the bit of board. That can go in with your um, your VGA. We do blob ICs in this video as well. Actually, no, we're doing another video. Just because otherwise these videos will get too repetitive. Little ball com. BGAs, nice ones, quite large actually. Don't know why I said little. <laughs> quite big ones, nice little, well, nice big, bulk on BGA. I don't know why I, I call everything little. VGA's here. BGA's always seem to be quite light as well. Like you take a lot off them and you have like a big pot fill up of them and they just don't weigh nothing. <laughs> you don't really add up too much. The gold corn on here, I left.
right, I'm going to pause the video here and just make a little box up of um, boards of BJ on. I was assuming I could get film quite quick because I saw loads on the top and now we've gone through them. It's literally just IC boards now. So just pause it and I'll come back in a sec. I'm back with more. Uh, remember I made the video on Gold Corner BGAs. If you haven't watched it, already, check it out. But I literally spent the whole video just looking for boards of Gold Corner BGAs and couldn't really find any. And I just realised when I first got these lot of boards, I planned that all out because I found, found a load. And I filled up a massive box full of boards which contained them. And uh, forgot about it for the videos. So that's, what, that's why I couldn't really find any in the videos. Which is annoying. So now a lot of these boards which contain little BGAs contain gold corner BGAs as well. So I removed the gold corner BGAs in this video as well. Some of them. I don't want to do the video doing them all because... Uh, that's for another video, but I removed the few what has few I got here in the pile. I ain't got much battery left on my camera or anything, so I don't want to make this video too long. There's another video I wanted to do today. I don't think I'll be able to charge my camera up before it gets dark, so probably won't happen now. It's a nice board, isn't it? So with. Oh, well it looked like it had loads of BJ on, it's only got a couple. I don't know how well you can see here, you can see on camera. The problem with the doing these videos is if I zoom in to show you the BJ, I'll either have to zoom right in each time, which means it'll take me three or four times longer to do this and people will just get bored. Or I can uh, make a video doing it like this, but then you can't really see the chips and it's boring still, so I think this is the best way of doing it. If you can think of any camera angles, anything which is better. Because if I zoom right in for you to see, I had a few people telling me I, could, I should just zoom in. If I do that, you won't be able to see the board of it or anything, and the camera's not going to be in the right position each time for the chip. So it'll always look stupid. It's hard to decide where to do it. Gold corner BGA, we'll move that. Seeing as we've got our chips in our hands and it's on the same boards we're working on. Where's my uh, a lot of solar that comes off that? Um, so the, our gold corners, we we'll just feel it off, then we've got the bottom and the top. Drop the top. I'll set the gold corner tops in this part. And the bottoms are almost worthless, so I'd stick that with my other bottoms, which is uh, I don't know where it is actually. There it is. Okay. So this board is done for BGA. We'll probably only remove two or three BGA in this video just because. I ain't picked out boards which has just gold corner BGA, I've only picked them out if they've got normal BGAs because that's the point of this video. If it's got a gold corner BGA on it it's set at the same time, might as well remove it. But for this video I'm not going to go out my way for it. By the way when I was sorting the boards that only took me literally about 3 minutes I was in there for it didn't take long just to grab a little pile I just don't want to keep doing a board and then go in silent for 20 seconds whilst I find another board and then just do another board and just keep going like that I'd rather get them all set on future videos that's what I'm going to do 100% make sure it's set first otherwise it always just makes it harder Metal case, fella. I 
I'll even be doing all these connectors in a future video as well. We'll be removing everything throughout all these videos. Trying to do as much as I can on camera. Quite cool. It's stuck down to the board like that. <laughs> Didn't get them like that very often. I can feel rain. Yeah, the girl flew off just here. A lot of soldiers coming off that one actually. Yeah. There. Did the plastic come off and all? Um, oh, another one with BJ. I keep spotting them just as I'm looking up. So I'll grab them through. I might manage to film another video today, it probably won't come up today because I need to meld videos together and all that, making it a bit better. It don't look like I edit my videos but I do do a bit of editing, it's not very much. <laughs> These ones which don't come off properly are always so annoying. Okay. Did I check that on the hitting when I had no BJ? This BJ right here is called a flip chip because it has the silicon die on the outside and that means it contains no gold. Well, no gold bomb wires, it will contain gold plating throughout, but that's about it and there's not very much of it. Um, I feel it will be 24 minutes, that's actually got 28%. Um, I'm going to pause the video and get more and go to the toilet. Bye bye. Hello, I'm back again with more. Um, I dropped my two little BGA tops. I find them there. There's one. Already. I find them as I get to eight. Still got a pot of BGA here, though. So no ones. There's only two little tops I dropped. And the gold corners. We find them both. Found one already. Stay on. Don't come off. 
sạch lắm Câu khô này hả? Mì tì Ất tì tì khá This one I'm obviously not going to be able to do. I'll uh, attempt to do it this way. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. That half is off. Let's get this other little piece bit off. Go in there fine like that. I just tap it from the top only, and then the VJ bottom is just here, nice and quick. And then that's that board done. Even the battery fell out. <laughs> Didn't need to do it myself. Yeah, that's well. Another one down. I ain't gonna do millions on this video, I don't wanna bore people too much, but ah, oh, there's the other BJ what fell. <laughs> Got it all back again. This one seems to have like a plastic casing on top. So we'll knock that bit off first. Oh, I hope my chisel halfway up. Up to it, won't be worth anything, it's just a piece of plastic. This will be another one that breaks up. Yeah. The majority of the DJ you find would be more like um, the Ram style most of the time. Look like Ram VGA. You can get some larger ones now and then, and some smaller ones like these two. Under here is a flip chip. Uh, or the BJ one.
side is all these two on the back. everything I'd sorted. I'm sure there's plenty more to do in there but I think that's enough for this video. Um, so how long has it been? It's been a little over half an hour I think. So we managed to get these done and just three gold coin BGAs are uh, weigh them now. So that's how much they weigh. Um, these are obviously worth more than I see's and these are worth like pretty much ten times more than I see's. So, we don't need as much to be worth the same as what we normally do. We normally do about 200 grams of ICs in an hour. So, for these, you'd only really need about 120 grams off on average in an hour to be worth the same, which we only spend a half an hour. So, 60 grams to be equivalent to ICs. I think they'd be about the same in value by the amount of time it takes to take them off. I actually just started talking, I found one with a few BJ's on. <laughs> right in front of me. That's how I move that. Ignore where I said this is the weight, I won't show the weight on it now. Uh, now I'll show the weight of them. <laughs> so that's the weight I got of um, the BGA. I didn't show it last time just because I got more BGA now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for the next video. I'll upload another one tomorrow. Uh, yeah, thank you. Bye bye.